Mary here and welcome back to my channel and today we're back to playing Life is Strange episode 2 and I think we could be finishing it in this episode I'm not even sure but um, yeah I'm actually really excited uh, what happened in the last one it was when Max showed Chloe mostly her powers and everything like that and what she can do predicted the future and everything like that so that was pretty cool and she is trying to help out Kate Marsh to uh, find out what's happening with the whole video thing and you know and uh, if she was drugged or something like that before they go to the police to basically get evidence so that's basically what happened so let's just Ooh, excuse me let's just carry on from where we left off basically I'm excited Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Someone's following them. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Dish. There's just loads of flies over here. And more flies. More flies. More flies. That a that's a bottle. Is it a beer bottle? This is hell on here. Nope, I don't want to go there. Cute little bottle for the taking. Break time. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. What's that? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. This is the scariest thing here. A 
I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Boom, only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. What? My rewind power doesn't work on her? I don't get it. Wow. It doesn't work on her. No way. Wow. Okay, well back to where we came from. Damn. This was an old school punk shirt. But whose is it though? Why is it just chilling? Nothing here. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Well, let's go back to the main bit because I have no idea where to find all this trash. Three down, two more to go. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Thanks for the tip. Oh, there's a way you can go around that. It's hard finding this freaking bottle. Like, so you have two more to find. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she... I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? One more bottle to go. I want to die. Jeez. Aww. 
Please what? Who wrote this? Ouch. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Are you jealous? Like... Ooh. Okay, anyway. I think we need to find one more bottle, which I have no clue where it is. Oh, it's there. It's up there. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Those shells look fresh. Mm -mm, this place is like a druggy and a... just everything. Oh, gross! So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. I don't know how I'm meant to get to that bottle. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? How do I get to the freaking car? The chair? There's a plank over there. What? Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. The last bottle was there, but I need something to go to go with it. It was easy. Way way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, 
Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Aim slightly above. Target in sight. Lame. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Aim a bit to the right. Laser tracking on. How am I even to see where she's aiming? Like, really? This blows. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim just a tad lower. Ready to plank. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Cruel bumper. Dude, I need a target before- Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back. Gas tank go boom. What gas tank go boom. I want to see what happened. I want to see her die. <laughs> Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Feels. Let's change that. Ooh, she's gonna get a headache. Dude, I need a. I wanna see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! Try. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? 
Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> you freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. This power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Up. Oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot the bitch. That is hilarious. Oh, oh man. Fuck, I can't rewind. Shit! I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Back. Where the fuck is everyone? Oh, there she is.
Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Shit. So we should have shot him, basically. <laughs> you really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Okay. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We Proud, sister. I'm gonna shoot him. I don't give a fuck. At this point, I don't care. <laughs> shoot. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. This girl owes us like a thousand pounds and a half because we out here like stepping in. Let's for blow. And My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Us. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. <laughs> All right, so that's fine. Um, not sure where Chloe went. went this way. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. I'm over it at this point. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. Just I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. All these birds flying at one spot is really creepy. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Hear a cow. Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Mm -hmm. Hung out? Yeah. You don't mean you 
Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, Are you sure man. we go? He never even I'm tried. Here, you did have sex I just made that. the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. out like a superhero. Move! Come on, Max! Hurry! I can't even move it an inch. Please! Awesome, it's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. use this bad boy. I can pull a total MacGyver. The train's coming! Damn! Something is blocking the drum. Wire to cut. Max! 
Whoa, short circuit city. Wire to cut. Now that's the right cable. Max! Yes, I did it. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. You owe me money, bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? This is just it was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. This girl's hella mad crazy. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Okay. So are you going to that Vortex club Sir? party? Oh, hello, I, it, I, I hope this isn't outfit. about the alleged gun incident. No. <laughs> Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. Sir? Oh. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mm -hmm. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Bitch. Sir? Oh. A legend? Yes, he's... I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. 
Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pat? Probably not the s- It's very- You know what, bye. You ain't shiz. Justin always looks stoned. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. Hmm. That, that's a sudden change of tone coming from the guy who harasses everyone, but all right. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Seriously, hello climate change. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm That's always so taking creepy. pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. And she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Maybe you owed money to Frank, too. Most likely. Okay, so we looked at everyone apart from this guy, Trevor. Trevor surveys his domain. Okay. I still have time. I could go see more. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. 
That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Maybe this is your way to So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. And the issue is? I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. Mm -hmm. She doesn't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Oh. Kate is freaked out by all of this. I should have taken She can't do homework while she's backfired. being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claimed you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I ain't going nowhere, motherfucker. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? I have a vision. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Big brain thing. Hey, Warren. Are you? Maxwell so Ask. Have that. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Just so it doesn't blow up in his face, yeah? Weird science. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. This can't be that hard. Hey, War. Asking. Hap. 
I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. I'm kind of doing like something now, like. Max. You look like ass. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a sh- Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student 
or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little... Andrana Eva, bitch, I'm saving your ass. Look of photo tips. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. I guess Kate will miss class now. We can thank reality TV. I'm worried about her. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. I who I know bullshit. can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Hero Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. No oh, shit. Oh, see that? Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Yes. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. 
I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Uh, can't make a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh, that's hella sad, man. Shit. That's actually mad sad. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. Mm -hmm. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. 
Kate was loaded and You're playing the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan privilege. need a break before we grill them for it. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Hello, cunt. Hate him so much. I wanna beat his whole entire ass. Such an ass. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would.
Is that David Matson? That's really weird. But anyway, guys, <laughs> that's the end of episode two. That was exciting. Like, I actually really, really liked that. So I hope you guys liked this video. <laughs> if you did, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new around here. It does mean a lot. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.